All right, guys, Gibby32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. I just got done shooting a video. I'm going to be doing the uh, editing here in a little bit, but I want you guys to check it out later on this evening. It's a, it's more going back to the fun. We're talking about the uh, configuration of three gun rifles or competition rifles and some of the changes that we can make, as well as one of the things we did is installed the new uh, Trigger Tech Diamond Zero Creep trigger in it. I can't wait to test it out. Thanks, Mark, for sending that out to the channel. All right, what are we talking about? This is a, a little news article that came out just a few minutes ago, possibility of popular revolt about gun control. Senator Chris Murphy says, and you know what's amazing to me is that these liberals, they have been above the law for such a period of time that they literally think they could do anything and everything they possibly want. Well, I'd like to know what type of revolt you're considering. So his comments came after a federal judge ruled a federal law preventing the sale of guns to 18, 20 year olds was unconstitutional. We talked about that, Mr. Robert Payne. Okay, this is an article by Kelly Garrett T. Okay, 5 14, 2023, 11 17 a.m. Eastern. All right, so there's a guy. His name is Chris Murphy, Democrat from Connecticut. It's always amazing that all the Democrats are so anti this, pro abortion, pro transgender, pro gender, pro teaching your kids all about there's other opportunities out there besides being, I don't know, straight. I won't get into that, but there, here we go. There could be a popular revolt if the Supreme Court blocks some kinds of gun control legislation, Senator Chris Murphy, Democrat, Con Connecticut, said on Sunday. What type of revolt are we talking about, Chris? Are you talking about disobedient revolt? Are you talking about people whining and crying like you guys normally do? If the Supreme Court eventually says that the states or Congress can't pass universal background checks or can't take these assault weapons off the streets, I think there's going to be a popular revolt over that policy. Well, <laughs> say when. <laughs> Murphy, an outspoken gun control advocate, said on NBC's Meet the Press, well, first of all, you're not going to get assault weapons off the street. I don't know what you're talking about assault weapons, but uh, basically it's what I work on on a day-to-day -day basis, and they're not assault weapons. Or I work on sporting rifles, American sporting rifles, best known as <laughs> to defend my family with, and it's going to get real ugly when we get that box-fed 12-gauge uh, shotgun in here. Yeah, these chat, these cats think they are above the law. Okay, so this is where I really got my, my ass started getting hot, okay? A court that's already pretty illegitimate. Right there, dude. Is it going to be in full crisis mode? All right, so right there, I'm thinking he's pretty much threatening the Supreme Court of the United States. Okay, uh, If the shoe were on the other foot, they'd be happy as a lark. Murphy's comments came after a federal judge ruled Wednesday that a federal law preventing the sale of guns 18, 20-year-olds was unconstitutional. If the court were to exclude 18 to 20 year olds from the second amendment's protection it would impose limitations on the second amendment that do not exist with other constitutional guarantees and that's correct uh huh. The U.S. District Court Robert Judge Robert Payne ruled that the ruling was in line with the 2022 Supreme Court decision in which Justice Clarence Thomas transformed the framework of evaluating gun laws, making it more likely that it would be declared invalid. And so here's the whole thing. Uh, now they're going after Judge Thomas. OK, uh, this poor cat has been reamed through. It's OK as long as it, you are a Democrat and you can destroy the right. It's OK if you can't do that. But if you, you're, you're not, then you can't touch these people. They're off limits. <sighs> Murphy noted that Congress had passed a gun control law last year, and he hopes he <laughs> said he hopes the government will build on that. All right, though there's a right to gun ownership, there is also an ability for Congress to regulate who owns weapons and what kind of weapons are owned. Yeah, it's called a convention of the states and a revocation of the Second Amendment. Until then, jackass, huh, uh, the right to carry and bear arms, all right, shall not be infringed. Uh, I think we have to continue to operate under that construct. And I'm not sure. I think that's the end of the whole thing. But I had to come in here. The revolt. Exactly what type of revolt are you referring to there, uh, and Mr. Murphy? And uh, you can stick it up your rear end. So with that, guys, being said, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. What type of revolt would you like to see Mr. Murphy uh, start? And I'm not trying to start anything, but you know what? When somebody wants to smack somebody in the face, they better bring it with some backup, okay? So with that being said, guys, uh, look for the video this evening. Uh, it, it's one of those ones where I just sit down and I said, you know what? I want to have fun with some guns. And it's a dilemma when you start thinking about what you want to do with a rifle. 
and the different things and you want to bastardize this rifle tear this one apart take the parts off of this guy and put it on this one when the answer is sitting right in front of you so with that being said if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and have already done so support the red white and blue god bless america god bless us men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free hey real cobra burnout boom there you go y'all be good